Hey y'all, as you can see, I've got a lovely melted bubbly cheesy feast there. It is basically shiitake mushrooms and oyster mushrooms. Yep, we got little vegetables going on there. We got our onions. Guys, this was amazing. I loved making this. It was so fun. So much ingredients and things to go into it. It was like, wow. It was like an explosion of flavors. I can't lie to you. I had all these seasonings, these herbs and spices just to build it up because obviously there's no meat in there, is there? It's all like herbs and spices, yeah, like I said. So basically, you know, I just packed up my land with my peppers, we've got white onions, we've got garlic, we've got, as you can see, all the seasonings which I will put in the description box below. Below. We got some all purpose seasoning going in there. We got everything going on in that pan. It's delicious. But guys, make sure you actually weigh out the amount of seasonings that you put in your in your um, steak situation because I think I over seasoned and if you do so there will be a slight sort of extra saltiness so just easy with the amount of seasoning that you put on your <coughs> vegetables I should have measured but it was amazing and tasty all the same I added some water just to stop my vegetables from sticking to the bottom of the pan and obviously continued with my spices and my herbs there we had um, some dried thyme added to the mixture some soy sauce some dark dark soy sauce i added gave that a lovely stir then i then added my argentinian steak sauce hmm that was very tasty i cannot lie actually it was really nice so we mixed all of the, the steak sauce in with the vegetables as you can see that's bubbling away oh my gosh it was just so yeah the smells that were coming from it, it was like wow literally i could not wait look at the bubbles like really guys like how can you not like this so then i added my look at those mushrooms they're lovely and they're so like meaty vibe like it's it helps it builds up basically it builds up the meal basically the type of mushrooms that they are the shiitake, the shiitake mushrooms and the oyster mushrooms which i've used several times please check out the rest of my videos and you will see that i've had fried mushrooms all different types of mushrooms with the oyster mushrooms that is i've used um many different types of mushrooms i love mushrooms I'm a big fan um, so yeah I had those cooking down got them down soft and tender which helped there's my lovely cheese I had apple wood vegan grated also my Biolife original cheese in the block got that plopped all of literally popped all of that on top I grated it up it was nice I can't lie to you um yeah so there's my pot or should i say my pan packed full of cheese i put so much cheese on there like it's on it's on the amount of cheese i actually put on there <laughs> you can barely see the actual um mushrooms after the amount of cheese i've won yeah it was like pff, crazy but you know i love me a bit of cheese you know love me a bit of cheese look at that just bubbling away and it stretched nicely as well i cannot lie to you it stretched so well oh was that raw so da -da, this is my taste test i actually had to mute it because of the noise in the background but it is what it is i introduce obviously my whole meal on my plate i have avocado tomatoes I also have cucumbers, then I have my lovely 
my lovely Argentinian no steak mushrooms situation going on there. So basically, look at the steam for starters. What? What? Are you mad? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So good. Natalie, that was so good. No, it was actually quite nice, actually. The stretch was nice. The mushrooms were very tender and chewy, and it all went very, very well. All the flavors worked together. Nothing was too dense or anything. Just maybe that extra saltiness, like I was saying. Just make sure y'all measure out your herbs and spices rather than just... Well, you can do them by hand, but as long as you know how much you're putting. Um, yep. Yeah, I had a lovely bit of avocado and I was on my way to go and enjoy my tasty, tasty meal. So, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.